स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट विल यस इट टेक्स इट टेक्स स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट विल टू कम अप फॉरवर्ड एंड स्टेप इन टू सम लाइफ एंड चेंज द एंटायर सीनेरियो इन टू द पॉजिटिविटी टूडे वी ऑल आर गैदर्ड इयर टू सेलिब्रेट वर्ल्ड ऑर्गन डोनेशन डे रेदर आई वुड से लेट चेंज दिस वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड ऑर्गन डोनेशन डे टू वर्ल्ड लाइफ डोनेशन डे बाई डोनेटिंग द ऑर्गन यू आर नॉट ओनली गिविंग द लाइफ टू एन इंडिविजुअल बट यू आर अबाउट टू चेंज द एंटायर फैमिली परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ लाइफ स्टिल एज समन ट्रूली से इट्स नॉट हू यू आर अंडर नेम बट वॉट यू डू दैट डिफाइंस यू I think donating organs should not be a choice it should be a considered as a national responsibility one person can change the life of eight people if he takes a pledge to donate his or her organ your ending will become someone's beginning with new perspective towards life in the aspect of organ donation india lags far behind than the western country like spain which has a ratio of 35.1 per million donor united states has a ratio of 21.9 per million donor india despite of huge population have ratio of only 0.65 per million donor this is just because lack of awareness and many of narratives regarding the donation i am very much hopeful rather i would say i am very much sure that the speaker with us today will encourage us and mold us into the new direction of organ donation day let's move forward to welcome our guest with an honor and great respect i am going to unfold the details of today's dynamic and magnetic personality i would say it is an honor and privilege to address a person who is nothing short of brilliant and excellent a person who shows us that there is no boundary of age to remain energetic and enthusiastic a man who takes ayurveda right of uh, by unfolding many ayurvedic concepts which is very hard to understand by his ultimate knowledge and academic skill a personality who provide example of ideal in every field he steps into and influence many students life and make the students believe in ayurveda i would like to use prefix of vishnu pita of anatomy to address this personality i am talking about our beloved principal dr b g kulkarni principal of parul institute of ayurveda and research i would like to request you sir to encourage our students with over your overwhelming speech over to you sir okay thank you uh, dr nirav uh, uh, respected uh, uh, today's uh, chief today's uh, resource person dr uh, mantish uh, raman nam नमस्ते डीन ऑफ फैकल्टी ऑफ आयुर्वेदा डॉक्टर हेमंत कुशाने सर एंड अवर मोस्ट सीनियर पर्सन जस्ट नाउ ज्वाइन डॉक्टर मुकुंद एरंडे सर आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ शरीर रचना फैकल्टी ऑफ आयुर्वेदा इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस डे ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ ऑर्गन डोनेशन डे as this uh, thought has got a very importance in today's life nowadays this body donation as well as the organ donation paint is becoming very famous and it is a need of an hour because there are many needy people who needs organs so that their life can get a new life so by donating the organs and even body donation okay uh, definitely these people are adding a life to a needy life new life to a needy life and in that point of view we need to make a awareness among the society because as just now dr uh, uh, said the indian percentage is very less if we compare with the other countries in the in regard to the donation of uh, different parts of a body okay and now there is a need to create a awareness among the people and this is not a recent trend 
actually this this thought body part donation th thought has got a historical background uh, there is a reference of a dadichi who has donated who had donated his bones for uh, making a weapons uh, for uh, uh, lord indra lord indra had uh, uh, requested dadichi and there is a history of this and with the help of the weapons prepared out of the bones of dadichi okay uh, indra lord indra had won against one asura so nowadays also eye donation heart donation liver donation there is a need pancreatic tissue donation or skin donation there are many parts needed to add a new life to a needy life okay and in that point of view dr ramannavar Uh, has done a great job i i feel proud about dr raman nawar that he has created a history a record by dissecting his own father's body okay and uh, in that point of view he is trying a lot to create a awareness among the society i still remember dr raman nawar raman nawar was sharing one incident i still remember he was he has uh, he has developed a trust body donation trust and uh, part of a, a program of body donation trust dr raman nawar had gone in one village and he was making a proud and our canvassing about the uh, body donation and one uh, a fellow from village uh, came forward and uh, he was uh, asking dr raman nawar Uh, and uh, during his living state he was ready to donate his eye and a very wonderful statement given by that guy now i want to in my living state now i want to donate my eye so that i can see a new life after donating so that i can see a new life of a blind see the sacrificial of this guy and uh, on whom dr ramanawar has influence okay so uh, i congratulate uh, department of uh, sharir rachana faculty of ayurveda palu university to update the uh, uh, body do part donation and uh, i uh, i request uh, all the participants to create awareness in the society this is just not to celebrate this day on this day 13th of august but uh, uh, continuously we have to keep this process on so that the person from the society can come forward to donate his body parts for a new life okay uh, i am very thankful to the department for inviting me and giving me an opportunity thank you very much and i welcome Uh, Dr. Ramanawar Sir, for uh, this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your valuable opinion. Let's move forward. It's time to welcome our bear boy. There is some personality who influence our life up to that extent that it can change your DNA and mold you into the best version of yourself. I feel immense pressure to address this personality, whom we can't describe in words. Still, I will make an attempt to do so. a personality who used to lead his domain from the front a person who breaks all the limitations and take pir and pir to new level of glory by his undoubted devotion and dedication for the university a person who provide us a live example of leadership a person who always emit positive vibes of all the negativity which is present only with his vision of eagle eye and great sense of development He takes this empire of Parul Institute of Ayurveda onto the new heights of achievement and development. I am talking about none other than our beloved principal, Dr. Hemant Sosikan, Dean Faculty of Ayurveda and Principal of Parul Institute of Ayurveda. I am requesting you, sir, to share your valuable knowledge. Over to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, uh, Nirav. Uh, thanks a lot for giving. Uh, my introduction in a different way probably i am not uh, uh, told all are uh, not belong to me i am doing my job and uh, thanks and 
for today's, uh, as Dr. Briji Kulkani sir has also told, there are so many people whom I can see here. Uh, Dr. Mukund Arinde, Malik Arjun is also there, and uh, there are many teachers. And probably they are also broadcasting on Facebook. And uh, I welcome first uh, my best friend, Dr. Mantesh. Uh, I will not take much time as every year we observe this day, uh, uh, or, uh, body donation day, sorry, organ donation day. And uh, last year also we conducted some programs. Before that also we conducted a program. Uh, uh, we we used to call speakers. We used to do a poster presentation competition. We used to write make a essay, essay writing competition. So many things uh, department of Rachna Sharira used to do. And uh, two days back they approached me, sir. This is the case. What we should do? Then I immediately I got in my mind uh, Mantis name and I asked them. I called him probably that time he could not pick up and when he called I was busy somehow we could not communicate each other but I told Abhijit to communicate and uh, go ahead with the work and he has accepted and uh, as you know this is uh, it's not awareness amongst us probably we all are belong to medical fraternity and we know about the uh, uh, the body donation uh, uh, sorry organ donation when I see Mantis I get a lot more about <laughs> body donation than uh, organ donation. <clears throat> So uh, organ donation, there are two ways of organ donation. One is live organ donation and the other one is cadaver donation. And uh, you may be knowing there are people in a queue. This government of India has started doing this organ donation day. And uh, I believe as on today also, some report I read, there are around 4,000 people are in a queue to get kidneys. Around uh, uh, some something around 3,000 plus people are in a queue to get liver. Uh, like this, there is a number is there. Uh, some of the organs as liver, uh, probably most of the time, usually it is a cadaveric donation. Uh, even even live donation is possible, but uh, very rarely people give uh, in live donation liver is given. But this all, there are many myths about organ donation also in the society. So our role, the as a medical fraternity, our role is make awareness about uh, this organ donation because by donating the organ, uh, we are saving one life also a dead is surviving in other form suppose uh, the one person has donated his seven parts his eyes are uh, donated heart is donated it is beating in somebody's heart in, in place of heart it is his eyes are seeing in somebody's uh, 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 in, in place of some other person so he can a person can uh, be multiple one so by donation of organ and uh, it is after death also. So we need to make aware about it. We need to remove the myths about the organ donation from the society, especially Indian society needs because we have, we have a different uh, style of education and uh, uneducation, uh, uneducated people are there and educated, uneducated, more dangerous people are also there in our society. So because of them, there are a lot of problems. So probably this lecture, uh, which will motivate our postgraduates, our doctorate students and our teachers. Uh, in turn, it will reach the society. Uh, in turn, it will reach the uh, people who are willing, uh, whom we can motivate at least after this session. Uh, there are 40 members whom I can see and there may be some people who are watching on social media or they afterwards also they may watch. At least one or these, our medical fraternity, we able to convert one or two people or we are able to convince one or two people to donate their organ. That will be well accepted. We have one faculty with us, uh, Dr. Rekha Parmar, Madam. She has donated her one kidney last time. We honored her also. This is also situation. So this this is a need of our. And uh, I request uh, Nira uh, over to you, and you can continue your session. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable speech. Sir. Dear audience, time has come, which all of us are waiting for. Let's just unfold today's speaker's data. I am extremely flattered to address one of her live legends. As said, doesn't matter how darkest the cloud is, they can't hold the suns for long period. Similarly, how could the history created by our guests, even BBC World News can't hold itself to notice the glory of this man in the field of body donation. I am using the prefix for this person as a man with a lion heart. Yep. It takes lion heart to dissect his own father's dead body. I am repeating it. It really requires lion heart to dissect his own father's dead body to just make awareness for organ and body donation in India. Where rich 
SQL is that much force to follow that no one can challenge it. A person who create a history in the world of anatomy which didn't happen since many ages and it may take many ages to get repaid. He is none other than Dr. Mohantesh Kamnavar sir, who is Professor and SOD of Rachana Sari Department, KLE, 3BM, Kankavdi Ayurved Mahavijalai, Shahpur, and Secretary of Dr. Ramanar Foundation, Nelhongal, District, uh, Belgaum. Such list of achievement is great long, but let me bring you into the notice. Sir, 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 yes. sir continue, sir. I'll give my introduction and I'll start now. Two o'clock, I had one more appointment, so okay. I'll continue my talk, sir. Brief it, everybody knows I've already come to Haral University, sir. Okay, sir, thank you. Over to you, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, Abhijit Patil, sir. At the outset, I pray uh, Lord Ganesha because Today's talk, uh, organ donation is related to Lord Ganesha. I'll tell you the mythological story in which we can uh, give the credit to Lord Ganesha because 22nd is our Ganesh festival. Uh, at the outset, I pray Lord Dhanvantri and my talk will be a little bit faster and my slides will move very faster. And there are in my slides, there are many of the paper cuttings are there in Kannada, English and Marathi. So kindly bear with it. At the outset, I am blessed. Today, Mukund Irande sir is there, so I heartily welcome sir. And uh, regarding the Parole University, uh, last three years back I visited because of uh, your young and dynamic leader, that is none other than uh, Dr. Heman Toshikani. And to him, that is always Ram Lakshman is there, Dr. B.G. Kulkarni sir, principal. Uh, both uh, they are from Karnataka, they are uh, giving a, a new shape to the Ayurveda in uh, Gujarat in terms of Parole University. And we are kind enough because uh, to tell about both person because they have sacrificed their life in dedicating Ayurveda from going from Karnataka. Though had they had uh, all comforts in Karnataka, but they had a vision and the zeal to develop Ayurveda. And uh, every day we see in the Facebook, every day we read in the newspaper, and also in the WhatsApp all the new things which is happening in uh, Ayurveda. And I present this presentation, Lord, with the uh, blessings of Lord Ganesha. To, I just now heard uh, Dr. Hemant Toshikani, uh, Principal Sir, was talking that uh, Dr. Rekha Parmar was, has donated her kidney. I dedicate this presentation to her because today, if at all you want to speak, many, many, many can speak a lot of things. Practical applicability, theoretical, I can speak uh, hours together, but practical ability is one is there in your parallel university. Uh, personally, I don't know Dr. Rekha, Madam. Uh, I, I heartily thank uh, uh, Heman sir, BG Prokhani sir and Abhijit sir. Please convey my regards to her and I dedicate this presentation to her. And today's uh, talk started with this, uh, uh, what we can say Lord Ganesha because first human transplantation of organs, if you ask the mythological story because I will not go in detail of the mythological story, the head of the Ganesha was, trans uh, was transplanted. This itself, it says that Sages ago, the concept of organ donation started with that uh, head, what we can say that is a transplantation of the head of a, a lion, uh, of an elephant which is lying on the uh, right side and it was brought and transplanted to Lord Ganesha and this dedication with two things, one in terms of Lord Ganesha and where always now Ganesh festival is there, so remember the organ donation started from Lord Ganesha and in my talk, all these contents are there. So I'll be giving more about importance about the organ donation. And moreover, many people think that organ donation means heart, kidney, liver, and other things. Remember, we have one more thing, which is uh, right now we have started in uh, Karnataka. That is a skin donation. And also, uh, we are along with the eye donation we have started. So I wholeheartedly uh, thanks to and give my convince to uh, my heartfelt thanks to our, Hans, our Chancellor, Dr. Prabhakar Kori, sir. And my father, Dr. Late, Dr. Baswanepa Sangapara Manavar, and more in going in detail to the organ donation. Vishwa Anga Dina, our Anga uh, Avaiva or Anga Dana Dina Divasa, on this day, what all organs we can donate that can be seen here? That is all we are celebrating worldwide, and this is uh, there where you should remember these are all the organs we can transplant that is the heart, then the lungs, then the liver, then we have in terms of the two kidney, then we have in terms of the eyes what we have in terms of the uh, uh, in terms of we have the in terms of the eyes then the total skin we can donate it so the heart 
then the two lungs, then the liver, then the two kidney, pancreas, bone marrow, all this can be donation to the organs can be done. Now at this moment, I raise one question because whatever I have right now here, it is because of one article of uh, Dr. Himan Toshikani when he was in uh, our college in Karnataka, he wrote one article related to body donation that son dissects father's body. The total my life changed because of his one single article in uh, Kannada Prabha and that article could uh, uh, could stimulate many of the uh, the donors in terms of the readers to donate more than 1000 bodies in Karnataka. It is only one article, Kannada article of uh, Dr. Heman Toshakani. At this moment, I also uh, remember my classmate, Dr. Sangeeta Jagirdar, who is uh, also a mentor for me when I was doing this work. Both were there in Karnataka. And that article made me, and they wrote just to give an awareness of body donation, but it created a, a history in medical science. I wholeheartedly thank both of them. And why I said this body donation because observe when if you ask me, there is no date till now. So please remember, we should all work already. I have given a memorandum and it is in Canada. I uh, pardon it. This is a Kanta Madam, Anatomical Society of uh, India president, uh, uh, Karnataka chapters of uh, uh, anatomist Karnataka. She is headed and we have already given and this I have represented from Ayush and from Department of uh, Anatomy and Rachana Sharira. So I have proposed a uh, November 13 should be done because that day history created. And otherwise, any other date, whichever you want that I have given an appeal or a memorandum to Gulab Nabi Azhar sir when he came to that. But still now it has not done. I appeal all you. I request sincere uh, request everybody to move on this. Now I will come to the organ donation. First, what we have, this is a I donation. I donation demand and supply is used gap is there. Please educate that total whole eye is not transplanted. It is only the inner side, the cornea is transplanted, which is a, a, what, a vascular structure that can be donated and that should be done. And remember one thing that those who have a, a congenital defect of eye defect, they will not get the vision. So it is only those who get injury to the corneal transplantation. So when you say corneal transplant, they will not understand. So when you say eye donation, uh, when you the difference between eye donation and the corneal transplantation is when you say corneal transplantation, no one will understand. So it is only the transplantation in terms of what that is a cornea. If you say eye donation, then they will understand. But remember the total whole eye is not transplanted. It is only the cornea. There is one statistic that if in India, that is, this is a statistics of uh, dyers. This is a born. And if you see that uh, in India to eradicate the blindness, all those who die, all those who die, if they donate their eyes, in within 10 days, we can remove the blindness from India. That is a statement. Many are there in Karnataka. Vishwa Hindu Parishad Kakade sir has donated. One Swamiji has come forward. This is a Patodi. Uh, Sayyaf Ali Khan father, he had only one eye, he was a legend in uh, cricket, but he could donate one eye, with one eye itself he could play and he was a legend. And I should appreciate and I should bow my head to uh, this Patodi sir, in Islam, one person, what we can name is, it is uh, none other than uh, what we have, it is a uh, Patodi sir, and uh, many are there, and it is a uh, uh, celebrity Dr. Rajkumar in Karnataka, many are there, where uh, Gangubai Hanagal, she is a Hindu vocalist, Gangubai Hanagal, uh, Dr. Srimati Gangubai Hanagal, who donated her eyes, and uh, Aishwarya Rai also has pledged their eyes. Many are there, and she is my student. Last 2015 batch, she lost her life in 2016, uh, uh, 16, uh, where we could donate her eyes, and now I can see uh, Soumya Benkati in the donors by giving the vision. So please donate the eyes and there is one helpline number in Karnataka, 104, I don't know in Gujarat, just check it, any helpline number for eye donation. And uh, where uh, there is a, a pledge form, this is a pledge for one, in one family, five they can uh, pledge there and this is a witness we can give it. There is a saying, do not burn or do not bury, donate the eyes. That is a where a humble request on that. And uh, I could remember Dr. B.J. Kulkani sir talk. Uh, when he was uh, addressing, he said that uh, one of person that is his name is uh, Mr. Thotiki from Bailhungal. When uh, sir was giving introduction uh, about the organ and body donation, uh, Dr. Vijay Kulkarni in 2009, uh, in our college, he was a guest of honor for our college in 2009. Dr. Vijay Kulkarni, he himself was astonished because he came and uh, talked with me that the person when he was alive, 
he wanted to donate one eye because he could see with one eyes the other eye could be donated just like rekha madam where what we can give the one kidney but as the law says that eyes cannot be donated when they are alive it should be donated after death now we'll go on to the next concept is twacha dana charma dana for the skin donation and this is started in our kle dr prabhakar gaha pore hospital belagami karnataka and this uh, where you should remember uh, in karnataka this is a second this is a second but sorry state of affair i'll come to your point i'll tell you what has happened uh, that is a eye opener to all parol university i request to dr hemant toshikandi dr bj krokani abhi sir and uh, uh, that is uh, erende sir where remember Uh, what i want to uh, tell about the skin donation is uh, this increases the survival rate reduces the infection significantly reduces the pain lessens the hospital stay cost of the treatment reduces the cost effective dressing material is there now remember this skin cannot be transplanted and it should be uh, like uh, what we are doing the surgery this is not done remember we are taking only the skin and putting on the burn patient what you can see that is a, a burn patient and that is for the survival rate we can do it and this what to on this organ donation day remember there is one instrument called as dermatome through this we remove the skin but we will not remove the whole body it is removed from the back and it is also removed from the thigh region and an uh, actor well known actor natesh uh, that is uh, what we have paresh rawal is a brand ambassador for skin donation he will be giving the rotary international in terms of donate your skin he is a brand ambassador and related to that we have started in kle uh, belagami i was telling that scientifically we use this uh, uh, dermatome to remove the one layer of the skin this is a procedure we are removing the skin a single drop of blood is not got it and that skin can be saved taken within 6 hours of the within 6 uh, hours of the death and it can be stored up to 5 years remember whatever the skin we are removing it that can be stored for 5 years and this is not transplanted i am showing purposely this because you should not have that this is transplanted it is only we are putting the skin on the burn patient see the burn area to heal it fast because electrolyte imbalance imbalance will be there to curb that that is the reason what they are there see this is the skin harvesting with the help of dermatome and after that the body is it is covered with a bandage this is before the donor skin application this is after the skin donation of this is a glycerol a use we keep in the skin will be kept for 5 years and it can be harvested and this is a mesh of the skin this is before burn and this is a skin transplantation where we have kept there this is not sewed or it is not transplanted it is not plastic surgery it is only kept for the healing process and uh, i'll come about 1.5 lakhs burns victims die every year so please see that but uh, skin donation is very important our family dr ramanur family already pledged our skin to our dr uh, prabhakar kore hospital skin donation there now this is an you can all read that gujarat mahila belagaon to twacha dan kiya hai remember this is a one eye opener to all gujarat people that single eye bank is not there from gujarat traveling from 2650 kilometers husband came to our belagaon Uh, that is KLE Dr. Prabhakar Kore Hospital Skin Bank. He took the skin of a donor before COVID, and that wa- skin was transplanted in terms of saving her wife when she was having a burns of uh, there. So please see that this is an eye opener that in Gujarat because Telangana in Telangana a government going to open a skin bank at Osmania General Hospital Hyderabad. So I request. everybody who are i and uh, heman sir was telling that we are all from medical fraternity i will not go in detail because this is needed to a common people so you are all uh, knowing the awareness please see that we make a living by what we get but we make a life by what we give this is a, a beautiful saying of churchill please do that and that will be there there this is a uh, what we have in terms of the skin now i'll come to the organ donation remember skin is a tissue Uh, skin is an organ then uh, cornea is a tissue so organ donation means both organ and tissue can be done for skin and eye within 6 hours should be as uh, a golden hour that should be uh, uh, like transplanted so please see that for eye donation we will come to the house for skin donation for the retrieval harvest we come to the house that is for within 6 hours we can do the skin and eye donation remember it is natural death natural death only skin eye and body can be given body donation others it needs one concept what we have in terms of is nothing but 
that is organ donation in that i'll come to that brain death the concept so one organ can save the eight lives like we can donate the heart two lungs two kidneys liver pancreas bone marrow then the two eyes what we can say that all this all comes under organ so one organ can save the how many eight lives remember this all takes place only with the, this auspicious day i heartily congratulate parul university because uh, uh, conducting a nice webinar on this and giving a facebook live for a general public to understand it where i my talk will be very near to the general public because you are all uh, doctors are there where you will not be you will all be knowing that remember you uh, like you want to uh, transplant the organ each organ has its life span heart can survive 4 to 6 hours lungs 4 to 6 hours liver 12 to 18 hours pancreas 12 to 8 hours kidney 36 hours and intestine 12 to 8 hours this is a transplant there so in india every 5 lakhs people die because of non availability of the organs and this number is expected to grow due to scarcity of organ donors so remember many of the reasons we are feeling it because uh, scarcity of the organs are there and this organ donation is uh, with two situation one live donation when person is alive the other one is cadaver or the deceased donation live donation is when the person making the donation is alive like madam uh, reka madam has given the kidney now this is only done in transplantation remember she could give only for her kith and kin and very first degree relation in family tree only remember live donation cannot i cannot donate suppose if my one kidney is uh, not functioning dr heman cannot donate me a kidney because it should be in a life in a family tree only remember it is a strict a transplantation act will be done there and one more thing like cadaver and the deceased donation is after a donor dies of a brain death and that can be harvested all the eight organs can be harvested the live donors i said the parents first degree relatives parents and sibling they allowed to have a live donors remember then cadaver and the deceased donation remember anybody can that is a can register first once any one brain death happens in the hospital their organs are harvested with the permission of the relatives of the organ donor and that is done with there now remember we have two death one the natural death the other one is the brain death only difference between the natural death and the brain death in a simple language is brain death in a heart in, in a natural death heart cis cardiac arrest takes place total that is natural death in brain death to explain it i'll take an example of coma you all heard coma coma and brain death there is one single difference coma is reversible brain death is irreversible once a patient is brained as brain death no no he cannot survive at all so in such condition what the organs retrieval we can do it it is certificate four neurosurgeons certification will be there family authenticity should be there then only the organs are harvested and remember all organs removed they are shifted to different organs with the need of the organs and that can be donated so it is only done in the family so give life to others once you are no more that is what even kidney transplantation liver transplantation heart transplantation all can be done and remember uh, if if the concept of dana that is a donation generous donation comes you can donate food money shelter but organ donation give the chance to enhance the spirit by recycling yourself you are recycling after your death that is by donating your heart donating your liver donating your kidney donating your eyes and lungs and also what we have this is we can if at all you want to recycle that is only one thing now every day about 30 people die every day not because they are in car accident not because they are gunned down not because their time had come not even because they weren't in the hospital but simply because they couldn't obtain a transplant in time so 30 people will die only because organ transplantation will not be possible remember this is what we are having that is a need of the organs then related to that there is a slow slogan do not bury or burn your organs remember life after death you want it do not there it should be donate them please donate on this organ donation we all pledge i uh, don't know whether nature gives us a uh natural death or the brain death if natural death we will act for the body donation and for a uh, 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 body the uh, fetal for the brain death we will act for the organ donation so the organ donation importance if you ask me uh, where if we take it remember the i will not go in statistics 
many paper cuttings are there i'll show that bangalore police ensure the hitch free hike to chennai to from bangalore see the air ambulance through that the one organs from bangalore it goes to chennai because the need was there so this is a air ambulance with a green corridor can be done this is a story from udupi i am putting there here is kasturi she had lost her life in a road traffic accident brain death her organs all the eight organs were retrieved and do you know that what they asked they did not ask the family members they said that all eight who has taken organs from kasturi should bless two children what right now she has a two children son and that should be uh, should be blessed by them that is a thing and remember there was one very much it is a viral in the whatsapp and facebook that is dear all important four kidneys are available remember this is a wrong message please don't forward this such thing because kidney cannot be kept with any person and if they can request this is only brain death soon after brain within that they will within a stipulated time this is a wrong thing please don't it is there in karnataka but i don't in gujarat if it is there in gujarati or uh, in english or any other language don't promote this this is a fake message okay please see that this is uh, facebook and uh, uh, whatsapp please see that instagram don't uh, propaganda such things and uh, see this is a air ambulance we are doing it and many a times this is a first girl uh, anjana from kerala from tiruvanthapuram tiruvanthapuram scripting a new chapter in the history of organ donation in kerala and uh, parents of 3 year old girl who was declared brain dead here on saturday she is the first youngest organ donor anjana madam anjana uh, kumari anjana where we are i should bow her head because even after her death she survived in us in our mind that is only because of organ donation this is a story happened in karnataka at keli hospital a mother donating a kidney to her son where this is one thing and this has happened there and a man gets surat teams heart at city hospital so in mumbai going the the organs to the surat this is what we have the normal heart what we dissect and we see it and this heart, heart transplant for the first heart transplantation happened in our keli and thanks to green corridor car crash victim of a heart now bleed in a 30 fares world so this uh, where we can say that is a, a mr from bgs global hospital this where we have that is a, 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 a heart was transplanted and now it is beating in 35 years and now this is the first in keli this is a mother who lost her daughter who lost her daughter and her daughter's uh, uh, heart was transplanted to a same age of a, uh, uh, in a man and the man is in karnataka he is doing his work and uh, we should uh, heartily give our thanks to mother where her daughter's uh, organs were uh, organs were transplanted to a male from female the organ sir our uh, chancellor kore sir godi sir and uh, rashekar sir and everybody and main is richards he was a heart transplanter we could transplant we are giving a thankful to the great mother so with this where uh, kidney can also be i don't talk more because reka madam is there she's a live example uh aware we should remember that is many are there who can donate the organs and uh, remember one bengur boy's heart heart beats for russia boy so one thing remember the boy in, uh, from russia was admitted in in, in uh, karnataka only in bangalore so suddenly brain death was there so his uh, heart was transplanted to russian baby so there is no caste creed religion and uh, country so we indians are grateful that our one of the heart of india is beating in russia so with this what we have i can pursue my career because my hero was pancreas donor so many are there organ donation day please see my grand uh, child could uh, get the life only because of the organ donation be someone zero be an organ donor live pancreas and multi transplant organ is there so please see that in 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 karna in uh, in our uh, uh, karnataka at keli hospital hruday kidney liver netra and asthi majja and uh, the all the organs are done under this and procedure for organ donations everybody want to donate so in karnataka we have one website called as jeevana sarthakate i'll repeat once again we in karnataka we have one website called as jeevana sarthakate in karnataka this is a main center through them we are able to what happens we are able to transplant the organs so here we get one pledge form this is a pledge form 
okay this is a pledge form in the pledge form heart lung transplant registration form is there in that you can tick all this and put a online registration they will send a donors card and that should be kept so in karnataka any one transplantation in any hospital if it is taking place it is under one uh, roof under their jeevana uh, sarthakate it is placed at bangalore because any transplantation retrieval and harvest should be done under the jeevana sarthakate but at this point i am sorry to say that in gujarat i am not knowing it if anything such thing is that before it was jcck now it has converted to jeevana sarthakate i feel that in gujarat also maybe one center like central body like this jeevana sarthakate there with this background with this uh, uh, pledging the organ i request on this organ donation everybody has to pledge the things but body donation i'll go fast because everybody knows uh, the body donation have come and i have spoke uh, with the invitation of uh, dr hemant toshekani and dr vijay kulkarni sir so here uh, regarding the body donation uh, this is uh, our uh, ex principal dr uh, uh, what we can say that is uh, my father and this is ex principal dr av gadak 2003 he donated and uh, 2008 my father died and body was donated uh, regarding one you know, very beautiful sentence is told by sir william harvey i prefer to learn and teach anatomy not from the books but from dissection not from the positions of the philosopher but from the fibers of the nature see remember this is a great thing what i could remember william harvey because he dissected his sister's body at flokstone kent england in 17th century he inspired me and my mother inspired me to put a scalpel on the chest of my father which the body was donated in 2008 and this body donation where uh, hemant toshikani and our principal dr b s prasad was there and under them i could uh, receive my father's body to same college and i kept the body for two years after two years the, i could inspired by sir william harvey he dissected his sister's body and with the blessings of my mother where i said one article of dr hemant toshikani i have become a world famous bbc world news indian doctor to dissect his father's body because his friend dr venkatesh from kannada prabha he was a mbbs doctor he could highlight in uh, there with that uh, uh, dr venkatesh uh, and dr hemant toshikani this news was carried to bbc world news indian doctor to dissect his father's body and this was carried there and uh, the whatever the credit ayurvedic doctor creates a history it all goes to ayush i i i submit whatever i am getting this to all ayush fraternity because because of you i am standing here and i am very much thankful to our uh, uh, teacher dr s g m kanti sir dr our former hod dr pakkanavar sir who bless me to dissect my father's body on the other side what we have that is uh, our principal dr b s prasad sir our chancellor dr kore sir and my mother also where they boosted me to put a scalpel on the chest and i played on the chest of my father when i was a child the same child has to take a put a scalpel on the chest of mother what abhi sir was saying the law and heart and other thing nothing is there just one thing you should remember karya karana bhava it is uh, not the greatest of son or the not greatness of uh, father or the not the greatest of the uh, our uh, uh, mother institute it is only karya karana bhava because of this we can educate public about post mortem and dissection this educated this educated this small noble act educated in india in karnataka about uh, that is a dissection concept between the difference between the post mortem and the dissection people were knowing only post mortem and now be educated with this background and it was uh, highlighted in all the newspaper carrying with uh, even in uh, uh, with uh, other uh, districts also other states also it was saying there so i'll not go there remember body donation and organ donation differences it needs a natural death for body donation organ donation transplant it needs a brain death that should be remembered remember organs cannot be harvested from the house the patient has to be admitted in icu and it should be in ventilators a mythological story what uh, uh, bj kulkarni sir was telling that is dadaji maharshi is a pioneer there for the organ donor body donation this is a symbol we use it for body donation the other name is anatomical donation or the body decoy this is symbol for body donation so unparalleled where you should remember uh, there is a one thing anatomical act is there under them we are working since in anat many anatomical act there bombay act madhya pradesh hyderabad saurashtra and all that in karnataka we have a karnataka act 1999 under that we could get unclaimed bodies to medical for a, a government hospital 
and any person can put a will under the anatomical act and they can donate so the to get the unclaimed body means the meaning of unclaimed legal definition is uh, body of a person who are a public who are a public place or a place to which member of the public have not access and which has not been claimed by any person that's we call it as unclaimed body so the donations should be done within 6 hours remember all the donation should be uh, with the two things one is the unclaimed and the other the uh, do body donation here the dead bodies are uh, are how body donation is more more important than the uh, cremation like burial or the tower of peace or the removing this is usually done by the parsis and hindu muslims and other thing we we do burial there we use 400 400 to 500 kg of firewood smoke and that is causing a, a expert and even the electrical cremator there it is too expensive so instead of they can donate it where instead of doing deforest and other thing you can educate the public that this is a what it is needed so please see that we can do it burial or the bodies where it takes 500 square feet and occupies a valuable land so there is a, sometimes graves and tombs are in public places in villages burial is done on the common land resulting in the conflicts tower of peace again it is a large area of the land so it is better for that it is better to donate the body and uh, donated bodies are superior they are fresh not decomposed they are well nourished they are free from infectious disease skin infection and other diseases ayurveda or any medical college prefer the donated bodies the maintenance of record donated bodies is a pledges is very important as per mca one body for 10 student but ccm we don't have any regulations but usually we are getting a, we should get a sufficient body for the dissection so our main duty on this organ donation organ donation day sufficient number of bodies should be get with a proper education so i will read up the cadre source of cadavers are one is unclaimed bodies the other one is donated bodies so the question is now how to get the enough bodies so need of there than a moment many colleges are facing shortage of bodies see the shortage of bodies body is to shortage affects the academic activities in uh, es hospital gulbarga this is what we have then that so create public awareness by article and uh, we can create article giving in the papers and that will be helping in terms of the things where i am before putting a scalpel on chest of mother i am praying with the inspiration of sir william harvey and the blessings of my mother dr sushla devi ramanavar who is a ayurvedic doctor and i took the blessing before then and i could educate the general public always remember dr prasanna hendra principal stm college of ayurveda hasana and along with b g kulkarni sir on this day i was telling that this is a event where one person that is there acknowledge the name of the donor always there he prasanna hens rao sir was there backbone for me and along with our principal dr b s prasad sir where we are we should acknowledge the donors and where you can see that is a uh, with a busy kulkarni sir and this is the person who said that i wanted to donate his eyes so i should also thank my mother institute stm college of ayurveda here we can see that with b j kulkarni and uh, uh, prasanna rao sir and kanti sir and dwai pade sir all were there and uh, where on that day we could uh, do it and promotion of body donation should be done with a uh, with uh, there is a role of uh, spiritual leader also plays a vital role all spiritual leader should come to see in karnataka one spiritual leader he has come forward to donate his body itself at belagam that is a uh, where the the, the swami ji is to donate his eyes body and uh, after death so like this people and one from gulaz gudsri and other from munwali and uh, i said one or eight body donation sir was telling that is one village in india if it is one village that is uh, a single village one or eight body donation to my colleges uh, this one or eight body donation single village and it is in the whole country this is a one uh, one or eight body from there and they are all donated to my kelly dr prabha kelly hospital uh, that is for eye and skin donation so many celebrities have come forward to uh, donate the uh, there i want to highlight some are born never to die dr jyoti basu who was a communist communist leader where he could uh, uh, donate his uh, body to kolkata medical college and because of them we are getting 1500 donation natesh paresh rawal for the skin donation this is a pledge form where you can place the uh, we can place the body in terms of that you can put your names and uh, uh, what we have the donation should be there so within 6 hours the body has to be donated remember death certificate should be precaution you should check it check the cause of the death convince the family members before accepting the discuss with the attending physician proper communication time factor these are the some of the death certificate are not going detail so with this i request everybody going 
the concept of body that is a donation day we should all uh, give a, our appeal to the uh, government of uh, india for one body donation should be there these are the cadaveric oath we always take the body with a cadaveric oath and we respect the cadaver's body and this is our principal dr bs prasad sir vice principal dr uh, uh, saunur sir and jadra sir where you can see here our dean dr uh, uh, jadra sir where we are receiving the body with utmost respect with our students and we pray lord dhanvantri on that day this should be done in all ayurvedic colleges medical colleges but i am happy that in it is it is following in karnataka and uh, this is uh, happening see the utmost respect we are getting the cadavers this is done at prasanna ayurvedic medical college belatangadi dhanvantri at siddapur so all religion we should come with a religion with a conclusion body and organ donation should be it should be uh, what the shortage should not be there and everybody has to pledge it and if i am speaking right now in front of you i am a i body donor and the organ donor this is a pledge form what i have done to my hospital dr shri bm kankanwadi ayurvedic college under the name of my father dr b s raman or memorial gold medal which is given to rajagandh university who score highest marks in highest marks in rachana sharira i thank sincere thanks to my principal uh, dr b s prasad sir for giving me opportunity to present online i also thank uh, the principal of uh, my mentor dr hemant toshikani dr bg kulkarni sir uh, dr abhijit uh, uh, sir and also uh, prasanna sir and uh, blessings of uh, air india sir is needed right now and i also uh, thank all the students of parol university uh, ug and pg students and i whole heartedly thank one second rekha madam she is a live uh, example for that and uh, overall that today's uh, speaking what i have spoken on uh, organ donation that all helped uh, i think that if you have any questions please raise uh, for 5 10 minutes i'll be engaging at 2 o'clock i'll close it please see that if you have any questions please let me know it thank you very much sir for your valuable speech we are very much inspired to have dr rekha madam i would say what are and the one more thing one more thing one of the article which has been published in the international journal of scientific research august 20 this month please uh, browse in this please check for the article 8th august recent issue that is uh, what my uh, foundation and the charitable trust is doing it is, has been carried in international journal of scientific research i would heartily thank all pg dog pgs and uh, ug and staff to go through that thank you one and all thank you sir thank you for your valuable uh, opinion sir we are very much inspired to have dr rekha madam i would say what a selfless personality dr rekha madam has any any, any 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 doubts before uh, before any giving vote of thanks for 5 minutes any doubt yes sir we will pick up some of the questions if uh, we will find it in our chat box sir okay sir okay sir thank you sir mantish yes sir actually i would like to ask one question yes sir just now in the presentation you told that uh, whatever the messages which circulate on whatsapp ha it is available for it is available so these uh, these things are happens with the layman ha as a medico people we know so is there any proper channel of the government to accept the uh, donated organs and go to provide it to the uh, needy people so is there any proper channel from the government Uh, for what sir for accepting the organs and uh, providing or uh, sir one thing i'll tell you in karnataka we have a jeevana sarthakati is a, a general body remember you cannot directly go they come to parol university and they can donate to any medical college or ayurvedic college it should be done under jccck and jccck what they do is under them different medical colleges their organs that should be uh, there and they will transmit it directly they cannot go at the government level remember it is only the government of gujarat through them there is one body i could uh, sense that there is a body under them they should uh, pledge their organs directly they cannot come to any colleges like they cannot come to my college or ali hospital and they donate there it should be done under the jcck jeevana sarthakati sir okay thank you thank you very much okay thank you sir sir there is an one article on times of india uh, there is one person anupam jaiswal who has uh, saved the life of 34 person by donating all his organs so how could it possible for uh, uh, one person to give life to 34 person at a time sir is that sir, possible 
sir uh, 34% sir please repeat sir there is a uh, one person uh, ah. which uh, whom uh, is uh, times of india uh, ah. public is article that uh, anupam jaiswal named anupam jaiswal who had uh, donated all his body organ and had to survive the 34 uh, sir how it could be possible for one person to make survive 34 people at a time sir no sir no sir to my knowledge 34 percent is when all the organs are harvested see sometimes if at all if they die the organs are unable to use it because of many diseases and many many of the condition you will not be able to that that is where one heart one kid, uh, two kidneys then in terms of two lungs and uh, in terms of two eyes and the skin everything is uh, used in a proper way so that i to my knowledge i consider this 34 percent uh, please post that article to me so that I can once again clarify. This is to my knowledge I have answered it, sir. I am also confused with what is that 34 percent. I will go through that and I will answer it. To my knowledge is that 30 percent is that all organs may be used and that may be the reason what they have used it, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Any other question from uh, audience side? They can put it into the chat box. Okay, sir. Uh, so with that, that's an outstanding, knowledgeable and motivational lecture. I, on behalf of our thank you, sir, for your valuable presence. I felt energetic by witnessing your lecture and more regretting that why it takes me this much of time for me to understand my responsibility towards the nation. It is very well said that not all heroes wear a cap. Some are donors too. I think your presence encourages our young blood to understand the concept and importance of body and organ donation. Now I would like to ask my teacher as well as professor of Rachana Sari department, a dynamic personality, Dr. Akashdeep Mesham sir, to give a vote of thanks. Over to you sir. sir. Thank you sir. I have always looked for whatever you are seeing in my beautiful face. It is because of technical support of uh, uh, Mr. Vinayak Pinchal who is an uh, IT coordinator and uh, Dr. Uh, one more thing is like we have uh, uh, Harish Badgir, who is uh, actively working with our uh, IT section, uh, Vinaya Kinchal sir, and uh, one more Arun. Uh, you could see the beautiful presentation of me and whatever the lighting arrangement, everything today is because of no one person who worked day and night for this uh, studio is uh, Mr. Vinaya Kinchal. I heartily thank him once again, sir. So, thank you, one sir. Yes, sir. Sir. Uh, uh, thank you, Nirav, for And lastly, my thanks to Parol University Chairman and the Dean and the Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, and uh, uh, my best uh, mentor and the friend, Dr. Hemant Oshikani, Dr. Biji Kulkani, sir. I never forget you because in Karnataka, you were there to boost for us and uh, make uh, this event a great success. So at this moment, I thank that uh, the Karnataka is shining in Gujarat only because of these two great person and they're with uh, a human heart accepting everybody and calling them for their accepting their uh, knowledge and calling to Parol University for this online presentation. The days to come, definitely I will support in all the online classes, sir. Thank you, one and all. Thank you to the Department of Rachana Sharira, uh, Parol University, Abhijit, sir, and all your team, sir. Thank you, one and all. Uh, yes, sir. It is our honor to have with us and your uh, valuable time you have spared. So first of all, I'll uh, thank Nirav that he has introduced me. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to my, pay my humble gratitude on this event, uh, who have discovered that organ donation uh, is a research and by which life saving is an important uh, thing which we can do after our death. So as a person who can help some other person after his death just by uh, filling up a simple body donation form or organ donation form before uh, he or she dies. So it is a beautiful message. Uh, and uh, by this event, we hope that this message will be spread all through the community and the society. Through your lecture, it was a very helpful thing. And uh, we hope that uh, the site Jeevan Sarthakate uh, will get more support from all of us and all of our uh, members who have uh, been here 
and who have heard your lecture so uh, with this we would like to spread the message of body donation and organ donation uh, through this lecture and uh, i would like to take the opportunity to thank the key person uh, who have uh, donated uh, all his uh, life in uh, relation to this subject so we are grateful to have you sir it is our honor basically and uh, with this present lecture uh, dr mohantesh ramanwar sir we humbly pay all the respect that uh, a beautiful work is being carried out through you and uh, with this we thank the kle members and your team members who have uh, technically supported uh, from your part uh because of this the uninterrupted uh, lecture has happened and from uh, our side i'll take the opportunity to thank uh, navodai raju who has come uh, the heavy rain is going on and he has come to support all the technical team of us uh on behalf of uh, our department at first like to thank uh, dr hemantoshi khane sir and inspiring and uh, uh, personality who has uh, agreed to one of the event on this day and uh, he has readily took your name for this uh, particular event so thank you hemantoshi ganne sir for a wonderful uh, lecture and uh, uh, introducing dr mohantesh ramanwar sir on this day uh, i also extend my thank to dr bg kulkarni sir who have uh, always supported us and inspired us in many ways i thank uh, our head of the department dr rapitis patil sir who has uh, arranged this lecture and the coordinator of uh, this event dr nirav and i extend my thank to the dignitaries and uh, people who are gathered on this uh, event dr erende sir and many of the dignitaries who are with us today on this event and uh, hopefully all the viewers have enjoyed and uh, appreciated uh, this lecture thank you very much and i hope all uh, will take a pledge uh, on this part to donate organs as well as eyes and uh, uh, body donation camp Uh, run through all their colleges thank you very much thank you sir i could thank see you, ajit kumar waheri sir sir ajit kumar sir ajit kumar sir i could remember you and uh, last but the least i thank whole family of foreign university for giving me a chance thank you one and all sir thank you very much thank you sir. thank yes, you sir. to all all my fellow our institute parul university we are very much blessed to have you on this occasion thank, thank you sir i am very much thankful to all the teachers and all the uh, audience i would like to close this webinar with gratitude towards our below principal and two wheels of our carrot uh, dr toshi khan and dr kulkarni and our below the hod for organizing such webinar for the abhi departure sir that's it from my side i dr nirav patel signing out from here thank you very much